matching an amplifier to a speaker. Let's say I have a 600 watt speaker at 4 ohms. So on the back of the speaker it says 600 watts at 4 ohms. Not including the peak power, just the average power. Well, for years I've believed in the 25% plus power, meaning 750 watts at 4 ohms for this particular amplifier is a good match per channel for that speaker. 600 times 25% is 150. So 600 plus 150 equals 750 watts per channel. So that's a pretty good match of a speaker to an amplifier, and that's a pretty good rule of thumb. So that rule of thumb is to have whatever your speaker is rated at, have the amplifier channel that's powering that speaker be equal to or 25% more. So there's arguments back and forth about what's the exact figure you should go for when matching an amp to speakers. All I know is the 25% plus power worked. However, in general, I would start off setting that amplifier up to 75%, and very often I'd set it up to 100% and determine if I, if I need to leave it at 100%. Uh, and you can do that as long as you're not peaking. I have blown zero speakers in 21 years. So 21 years of professional audio sound systems, I've blown zero speakers. The amplifier is always a little bit more powerful than the speaker, not too much more powerful. If I used a thousand watt per channel, I'd probably turn the amplifier up halfway, because you can blow the speaker with too much power, obviously. But it's better to overpower a speaker, or have an amplifier that's more powerful than a speaker, rather than an amplifier that is less powerful than a speaker. As long as you don't overdo it and you're not going to destroy your speakers. Mm -hmm.